saved $500,000 or more. And thinking about your next moves for retirement? They'll do all of this complimentary for the next five callers. 203-884-0878 for your complimentary 401k x-ray and optimization report. 203-884-0878. 203-884-0878. Investment advisory services offered through Brookstone Wealth Advisors, LLC. Insurance services offered through Hackman Wealth Advisors. EWA and Hackman Wealth Partners are not affiliated. Insurance licensed in Connecticut and New York. Mark Curtis from Splash Car Wash here to let you know that we're giving free car washes to all veterans and active duty personnel this Thursday, November 11th at all of our Splash Car Wash locations. To all who are serving or have served, we want to thank you for your service and sacrifice by giving each and every one of you a free car wash. So come to any Splash location Thursday, November 11th to let us thank you in person with this small token of our appreciation. Remember, clean car, happy life, Splash Car Wash. If Fairfield County is talking about it, so is Paul. Connecticut Today, WICC 600. All right, 203-333-942-233, WICC. We'll get back to uh, open phones. And towards the top of the hour, to wrap up the show here, it's a uh, Tuesday edition of Connecticut Today. Uh, tomorrow, we hope to hook up with a Bridgeport Union official to talk about the union push for uh, hero pay for hazard pay during COVID-19. So we'll bring that to you hopefully tomorrow during the show. And right now, more chat about COVID-19 with the... Professor Sarah Crawford, a biology professor at Southern Connecticut State University. In so, Professor Crawford, what, what what is it that we hear now about a pill form, a pill form of of antiviral here? And did I read this right yesterday that it would be coupled with an HIV drug? What's the deal with that? Well, you know. I'm very glad you asked that question um, because my research as a graduate student at Columbia University involved the use of protease inhibitors. Um, in my lab, I worked with Dr. Stephen Goff, and what we did was we were looking for the genes in viruses, uh, retroviruses like HIV, and what they did. And what I found is my graduate thesis research was that if you target the protease gene, the virus can reproduce itself, but it's not infectious. And that became a protease inhibitor treatment strategy for HIV. And now it's becoming a treatment strategy for COVID. So you block the protease, you block the ability of the virus to make its proteins infectious. So the virus is released, but it's a dead virus. And this is a wonderful therapeutic modality that's now being developed by one of the pharmaceutical companies, which is the um, Pfizer Paxlovid. There's another drug, there's another drug being developed by Merck, Molnupiravir. That is um, a replication inhibitor. It doesn't work quite as well, but it's giving 50% results, so we'll see how that goes. But protease inhibitors are huge for antivirals and we see it now coming to fruition for covid which is really exciting so can you uh see professor crawford maybe a time in the next two three years whatever assuming we don't completely get rid of this uh w w the majority of treatment maybe be simply by pill or would the would the intramuscular inoculations also be have a permanent place? Well, I mean, I think you will agree with me when I say both. I mean, I think a vaccine is very, very important. We don't know long-term how well the vaccine will give long-term protection. So there are breakthrough infections. We're seeing that now. So if we have another uh, weapon in our arsenal, you get a breakthrough infection, we can do that. We can treat that if it's caught early. So I think we are moving on the plus side of all of this. And this is going to be a century event that is going to be remembered 100 years from now and analyzed in so many ways. And I will say one thing. I've been thinking about this. Sure. Someday, I hope, we will have a conversation that is more positive than talking about this pandemic when we can say oh remember when we were discussing the pandemic now we can oh, talk yeah. about other medical issues so someday that will happen i don't know when my crystal ball is not quite in focus <laughs> yeah yeah my my my, my needs new batteries <laughs> um 
finally, you know, the, the, you've probably seen, uh, Professor, the rumbling now, and, and Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA head who's a Connecticut resident, he kind of fueled this the other day. You know, w w at what point, when do we, assuming we're never going to get rid of this completely, and assuming maybe, I may be wrong here, but assuming there's going to be some level of positivity going forward here as far as testing is concerned. Yes. When does this end? When, when, when do, is it right around that two-year mark that a lot of uh, virus specialists say usually is it, or do we have to go another year without well, breakouts? What are your thoughts on well, that? Well, my, th my thoughts are, you know, keep in mind that this is a global situation that developed in China the end of 2019, we knew it was going on. We had these, you know, um, information that suddenly evolved that this is happening. And it's a global problem, and it's nowhere near solved. And I think until Russia and other parts of the world that are now having a huge resurgence of the infection, until globally we see a calming down of the infectious rate overall, either due to the fact that people are vaccinated or these antivirals are working or they've already been infected and have protection post-infection, I think we're still gonna have to deal with this issue. It doesn't solely reside in what happens here in America. And I think that should make us aware of our global interconnection as a family or global family that fights disease and I think if we can unite on that front, we're really going to move forward in a very important way in the 21st century. And as always, we thank you for your insights. Professor Sarah Crawford, Southern Connecticut State University. Professor, thank you, and we'll talk down the road. Take care. We appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Thanks. Pre